in this After Effects tutorial, let's see how to create this awesome display screen animation in After Effects. This is going to be super easy to create this without any further ado, let's get started. So first create a new render comp, so just click the new composition and rename it to render and the preset 9020 by 1080 and duration is 10 seconds and press ok and uh, then import the footage from the explorer so just click the double click the project menu and then select all the footage and just import first create a background so uh, drag the background image to the timeline and right click and transform and go to fit in the composition and uh, it's automatically set according to the composition uh, render composition so drag the dots image to the timeline and uh, set just like that and uh, create a new solid layer and the color is black and press ok uh, and create a uh, mask layer uh, into the uh, solid layer uh, just uh, draw a shape and press the F for the mask feather and the value is 700 and uh, tick the inverted uh, ok so uh, select all the layers and decompose rename it to bg comp and press ok so drag the pasta image to the timeline and uh, scale it up little bit and then uh, select the type tool and uh, type your uh, type the text uh, it uh, totally up to you whatever you want to write it uh, I just type delicious delicious pasta so I am using the uh, font uh, babus bold and uh, scale uh, size to 175 drag it little bit down and the set according to this so select the uh, text layer and uh, go to the uh, effect and presets and the search ramp gradient ramp and uh, drag and drop into the text so uh, so I'll create a, a beautiful uh, gradient so I pick from the color uh, into the dish a uh, very beautiful orange color uh, just like and the second one is uh, lighter orange color so I pick from this and set according to the text just like that it's perfect and the type second text uh, uh, see description uh, uh, or cap caption so select the type tool and uh, draw a box according to composition uh, according to you and i uh, copy from this uh, lauren ipsum uh, but by the way it's totally up to you whatever you want to write it so i just i just copy and paste and the size is 25 is good and uh, set according to this and then uh, create a price tag so uh, select the uh, shape there and uh, draw a circle uh, stroke it to, uh, stroke it to 10 pixels and fill it to none 
and uh, click the spoke uh, and the uh, click it to linear gradient so click uh, ok and the uh, create a very beautiful uh, gradient orange gradient uh, just copy from the dishes uh, ok select the uh, and type the price <coughs> IP price uh, just like that ten dollar and uh, size little bit up just like that then uh, drag the logo into timeline and set according to you uh, I just uh, scale a little bit down and uh, the 20 pixel is ok and, uh, and drag it to the right corner uh, it's ok for me and uh, then in, uh, create a shape uh, near to the uh, price tag just like that for the attention uh, to the price just like that and then create a new just shape it to an arrow for attention according to this so this is for me so its color is uh, white and click to the stroke uh, I guess solid color white is good for me so finally animate this create a null layer and uh, the select the pasta image and pivot it to the null layer and uh, uh, create a circle uh, look like this and uh, for the reference I, I create this circle for the reference and uh, select the null layer and uh, uh, select the uh, anchor point tool and the anchor point is uh, look like this uh, uh, center according to the circle just like that and uh, delete the circle and uh, animate this uh, null uh, layer uh, press the R for rotation and the one second ago start the animation and the very first second uh, value is uh, 100 100 is good and the 9 second uh, 9 second ago the copy this keyframe and uh, paste it here and the 10 second ago and the value is minus 90 minus 91 minus 90 and the animation look like this and select the all keyframes and is the ease press f9 and uh, the graph editor look like this just like that so select the null layer and pasta and pre-compose it to media placeholder and uh, animate this text um, expand the properties animate position and uh, opacity go to the range selector and advanced option so animate the uh, position um, little bit down and opacity is zero and uh, the start option is 100 
that the endpoint is zero. Uh, I will animate uh, this offset and start the animation. And one second ago, and uh, the value is one hundred. And the start value is minus one hundred. And uh, the uh, and the shape layer uh, shape is ramp up. Look like this. And select the both and easy ease. And uh, select the properties and select the uh, description text and. Uh, uh, I will animate this uh, uh, position and opacity and go to the range selector advance and the base on uh, lines and animate this uh, start point uh, position look like this and the opacity 0 and the start point uh, I will animate uh, and start the animation and one second ago uh, the value is 100 look like this so I will animate this price so select this uh, uh, and pre-compose the text and then animate the price and uh, uh, recompose it price and uh, I am using very simple animation the scale as, uh, as uh, press as for scales and the one second uh, select the uh, to start the animation and uh, the very first second is zero and one second ago this value is 100 and select the both keys easy ease and go to the graph editor look like this it's like so open the price comp and uh, select the interest of regions and uh, just draw a shape and go to the composition and drop the comp from the region of interest so close this price comp and uh, uh, set according to this look like this and uh, animate this uh, path uh, so I, uh, I will use the trim path to animate this uh, it's very basic and simple so uh, I will animate the end point is 100 and the value is minus uh, value is 0 to 100 and this uh, one arrow uh, animate the uh, opacity look like this this value is 0 just like that and uh, uh, so finally animate this logo uh, first pre uh, first pre compose this uh, arrow uh, then animate the logo pre compose it logo move all attributes and i am using the scale properties to animate this and uh, animate it uh, to look like this minus uh, uh, zero select the both keyframes and uh, easy ease go to add, uh, graph editors and graph look like this so uh, select, go to the logo and uh, the select the origin of interest and uh, draw a shape just like that and go to the composition and crop the region of interest so close these compositions and set according to the 
render form so finally uh, select the uh, all layers and pre-compose the scene one zero one and okay and uh, the project menu select the scene one and uh, go to the window so i am using the true comp duplicators by the way this is free script so uh, duplicate the one copy Uh, scene to uh, drag and drop to the timeline and uh, I guess uh, I think the render composition duration 20 seconds is good so adjust this look like this so animate the opacity of scene 1 press T for opacity and uh, the opacity is uh, under the zero look like this 100 and uh, if, uh, one second ago is zero and start uh, the scene to and open the scene to and uh, open the media placeholder and select the pasta image and uh, exchange, uh, change the image to the nuggets and hold the alt and drag and drop to the image scale it down just like and change the text according to you Alright guys, if you love my do so please support my channel. You can get this template from the link below. I hope you learned something in this video. You can check more video here. Thank you.